First tonight at 11, it is clear, folks, over the next three days, we will see the most action yet in the election RICO case against former President Donald Trump and his 18 co-defendants. And as of tonight, two co-defendants have turned themselves into the Fulton County Jail. Several others have received bond and are now ready to surrender. And breaking tonight, in the last five minutes, we actually just received these two mugshots for attorney John Eastman and former bails bondsman Scott Hall. They both surrendered today at the Fulton County Jail. And we'll take you there live in just a few moments for those details. Details. And also new, just in the last hour, we've actually learned that Rudy Giuliani is expected into town tomorrow. He's the former mayor of New York and former attorney to Donald Trump. He's also set to meet with the district attorney's office tomorrow to talk about his bond. And also new tonight, we are just waiting for more defendants to surrender. Former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has filed an emergency court order to delay his arrest. Meadows has already asked to be that case to be moved away from the Fulton County Courthouse to federal court. He is now citing a hearing set for next week about that request as the reason to postpone his arrest order. For now, all the defendants must surrender at the Fulton County Jail by noon on Friday. That's exactly right. And that is where we find 11 Alive's John Sherrick live tonight with more on these defendants that we just saw their mugshots there and they did surrender today, John. It is early in the case, of course, but the DA's first deadline is fast approaching, telling all the defendants no exceptions. Surrender here at the jail by Friday or else. Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis says she will immediately issue arrest warrants for anyone who does not surrender at the jail by noon on Friday. On Tuesday, outside the Fulton County Jail, one of the 19 defendants who did just surrender actually stopped and talked briefly with reporters. Attorney John Eastman, accused of helping former President Donald Trump illegally try to overturn the 2020 election, helping Trump try to stop the Electoral College vote, and knowingly spreading information about possible election fraud that he, Eastman, knew was false. Eastman says he still believes the election was stolen and he was just being a good attorney for his client. No crime in any of that, he says. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named. All of my co-defendants and I will be fully vindicated. Do you still think the election was stolen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Still? No question. But most of the 19 defendants have not shown up yet anywhere. Instead, they've been sending their attorneys to Fulton County Superior Court in downtown Atlanta to meet with Willis and the other prosecutors. And the defense attorneys have been getting their clients a deal on bond first so they can breeze through the processing later at the jail. As of late Tuesday, attorneys for 12 of the 19 defendants had secured bonds that way, including Trump's attorneys. But seven defendants had not so far. After all the defendants have surrendered here at the jail and bonded out, then, possibly the week after next, arraignment. All the defendants will have their chance to stand before a judge and enter their, their pleas officially, either guilty or not guilty. John Sherrick for us tonight. Thank you, sir. With a former president expected in a town, we're also digging into how this may impact your commute. Yeah, so this is what we know. We know the Fulton County Sheriff's Office plans to put the jail on a hard lockdown. And while details about what exactly that means have not been released, we do expect major roads and interstates to shut down. We actually spoke to Ray Moore, a retired Secret Service agent who served eight current and former presidents in his lifetime. He says he expects the process to last about an hour and says security will be tight. When former President Trump comes into Atlanta to go be processed, the motorcade route that he's going to come into is going to be secured. When he arrives at the jail, there will be no one, no prisoners, anybody like that in close proximity to him. And tonight, Marta is also preparing for the former president's surrender, saying routes 1 and 26 will be rerouted on Thursday. And we know that this is a lot of information with new developments happening by the minute. So if you want to catch up on our latest coverage, text the word RICO to the number on your screen and we'll send you a link straight to your phone. That number is 404-885-7600.